Good morning everyone. So I was about to do my hair and makeup this morning and I realized I have not done a full makeup tutorial for everyday look in a while and I haven't done a hair and makeup tutorial for everyday look for a while so I thought I would share with you I also have some new products that I have incorporated into my makeup products and I wanted to share them with you because I've been using them for a couple of months now and they truly make me happy and I thought that I would share with you what new products I have and kind of go over my everyday makeup routine with you so if you want to see how I achieved this look please keep watching all right so the first step this is not a new product I've been using this as you can see I'm right here I've been this is my second bottle is the Clinic Moisture Surge Moisture Surge Face Spray and if it's been past a couple of hours since I did my moisturizer I go in with this if I just applied my moisturizer which I try to wait a little bit in between I put a very light mist of the spray on Again, it's a very fine mist and it gives you a little bit of extra hydration. Then I just wait a little bit and I love going in with my fan. I know some of you commented on my fan and how funny it is, but this just expedites the time that I have to wait for this to kind of absorb into my skin. Then next I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm using the 0.2.5 Fair. I don't have a mirror behind you. I'm situating you by the window so that you get the best lighting possible so for some things i need to hold a mirror i use this as a primer and honestly i've seen a huge difference since i started using it it sets my foundation very very beautifully it gave me a really really nice baseline and then i go in with my foundation i'm using the estee lauder it gives me a really really beautiful finish it's not full coverage which is what i like i don't like a cakey full coverage foundation then i'm going in with this glow drop it's by tarte i'm using the color deep bronze glow i think they have three or four different colors but this is how much I put. So I mix it in with my foundation on the back of my hand. I let it sit for a couple of seconds before blending it in. I want the warmth of my hand to kind of warm it up. I go in with my brush on both sides so that I can place it. Then I blend it in. I don't do a lot around my nose area. I just take the remaining of this when I'm done with it, when I'm done mixing it in. Then I go over my nose and same with my under eyes. Don't forget the size of your ears. Then what I do is I take a towel and I kind of clean off whatever is left. Then I go in and kind of mix it in. My eyelids and I go everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> Gives me such a beautiful finish. I truly love this foundation. It is such a gloomy day outside. It's supposed to rain for the next three days. So as you can see, I don't brush it and I don't go in like circles. I kind of go press, press, press and just a little bit of drag. I don't do too much dragging, although this really doesn't give me any lines. Then I go in with my Dibs Beauty Dual Stick. One side is foundation. I've talked about this, not foundation, sorry. One side is blush, one side is bronzer. I have not used this brush yet, blush yet. I'm using another blush, which is gives me a little bit more like a summery blush. And then the other side is a bronzer. And I know you're supposed to put it in the back of your hand first. But honestly, when I'm in a rush and I'm doing my daily makeup, I don't do it. I only do it when I'm going somewhere really, really important. <laughs> so the places I put it is a little bit on my jawline, a little bit right here and on my forehead. And I go in and contour my nose. I use this for both contouring and kind of bronzing. And then I put like a little stamp like that right here that I later on blend it and I'll show you so that's for bronzer and then the brush I'm using to blend it in I had two different brushes one is by Murphy I use that for my nose it's the M173 and then the Patrick Ta for contour one that's what it's called so I go in and do the same exact thing I don't drag it I don't go in circular motions you don't want to you want to kind of like that 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 and then really, really blend it in. I always have a towel next to me because I kind of don't want what I have here to go on here. I just make sure that I clean my brush when I'm going to new areas every time. Again, don't forget your ears and this side of your neck area because blending is one of the most important things. Like I used to not know that and I used to go out with my ears completely white and my face all bronzed up. <laughs> I'm 
Should I zoom you in a little bit more? Let me see. Yeah, maybe that's better for now. And then when I'm doing my hair, I can zoom you out again. Then same thing, tap, 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 and then your hairline. And then for here, I kind of like turn my brush from this way to this way so that the stamp I put here can also go at the end of my eye, like so. Like that. And then again, all your hairline is really important. Make sure you also blend it after you're done, like a little bit upward so that it can blend in your hairline. Normally, this makeup, everyday makeup, takes me about 10 minutes, 12 minutes max. But because I'm filming and talking to you and showing you all the products, it's going to take a little bit longer. Then I go in with my eyeshadow, and this is the new eyeshadow. If you saw, I did a one whole video on eyeshadows. I think I reviewed 14 or 13 eyeshadows. And I said that this is my new eyeshadow and my absolute favorite eyeshadow. And I don't think I'm going back. This is by Mario. This is makeup by Mario. It's the master palette. And here's just to show you the colors. What I love about this is that they're all matte. I use a buffing brush and I use this color right here to kind of go over all over my crease right here. All over my eyelid kind of. I just personally like very, very, very simple eyeshadow. Today I'm going in with these two. I kind of like mix them together. And I always, always wipe it on my little towel before I go in. Then I kind of go in little circular motions and I start at the end of my crease and work my way inwards. And sometimes I like the end, like right here, to be a little bit darker. And sometimes I drag it out. But that's not what I do when I do my daily makeup. This is it. If I want to go a little bit extra, I'll do a little bit darker on the sides. Then I also drag it out a little bit to give it to give it a little like a fox eye look. Okay. And guys, the honestly that's it. Then that's it. My eyeshadow takes like three minutes. Less than that, probably. I kind of blend it, blend, blend, blend. Oh, what's that? All right, then after that, I go in with a concealer. What I do with concealer, I just put a little bit right here, and that's it. And this is all I put for concealer. That's it. And I wait maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Let's expedite it since we're filming. Then what I do is I go in with a dry beauty blender. I don't wet it. And I just go, kind of gives me that lifted eye look. Like, look at that. Of course, I will blend more. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave it like that. Then, like so. Instant eye lift. Instant face lift. Instant eye lift. And then whatever I have left, I go in in the middle of my forehead, bridge up my nose a little bit, a little bit over my lips. And then next, we're going in with a blush. So let me show you the blush difference between these two or this, these two. I would say this one is more for like spring and summertime, daytime look, and this one is more for like nighttime look. So I'm leaving this one for my fall and nighttime looks. And this is the one I've been using on a daily basis. But this is the bronzer I'm using, okay? So then I go in with my... I'll, li I'll list a number for you. Then... I also mix in a little bit of my Rare Beauty. This is Grace. Yes, this is Grace, and I'll show you how I do it. So what I do is I go in in between my concealer and my bronzer, and I draw a line, like so. I do the same thing on this side. But then what I do is I go in with my Rare Beauty. This is very very pigmented so start very very small i wipe up i wipe off all the excess using the bottle and i kind of go over and add this pink to it this is like a babier pink a little bit then i go in with my brush make sure you have your towel again because what i do is i wipe it off otherwise one side you'll have a lot more than the other side <laughs> okay then i go in and 
again dab 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 i don't do anything else i don't drag i don't go in circle or motions what a beautiful pink sometimes i use one or the other sometimes i use both honestly i just switch in between but it's a very 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 natural pink wipe 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 constantly wiping See, this side is already a little bit more, so I keep wiping and blending. Wiping, blending. All right, that's it for blush. Then I go in with a setting powder, and the reason I go in with a setting powder, I'm using the Givenchy, what is it, the three, number three, yes, number three. And the reason I go in with this is because I have a very oily face. My eyebrow brush doesn't really go on really smoothly and nicely if I don't have this on. And same with my eyeliner. I want it to sit perfectly, so I go in with a little bit of this. So I use it with a, it comes with a little pad. It comes in with one of these, but I've been using the brush and I kind of like the way the brush makes it look. So I go over my eyebrows and then end of my eye right here. What I do is I use the excess like right here around my nose because that's where I get oily and my upper lip because that's also where I get oily. <laughs> no one likes the oily upper lip. And then it just looks like I'm sweating but I'm not so. And then I dust off the remaining on my lips. Then next up is eyeliner. Now, if you watch my videos, you know how I always have an issue finding the best eyeliner. I used to love the NYX Epic Ink Liner, and actually, it's maybe just me because I checked with three or four people and they said it doesn't happen to them. So the problem that I have with it is that it's not a felt brush, it's just a brush brush. And what, it ha and what happens is, let me show you in comparison, for example, to a one that is felt. It loses, it, started, it starts like opening up and it happened. this happens, so all the brushes start opening up and this is not that bad, sometimes it gets so bad that you can't even use it anymore. So I went to the store and one of the girls recommended Fenty Beauty and so this is my new eyeliner and it is felt and it does, I can confirm that it stays all day and actually it's funny because when I wash it at night if I don't do it like my triple cleanse, sometimes I still have residue of it. So that's how strong it is on my eye. So I really, really love it. And here's what the tip looks like. Let me wait till it, there we go. It's felt so it doesn't open up. It doesn't go like. Then I go in with this. With this one, I have to sit a little bit closer to my, well, I can do it like this. I just do a winged eyeliner. I have to, I can't talk when I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Alright, so I did my wing and with the wing I have learned that it looks best on me when I only do half a wing and I don't go all the way on my eyelid. Next up I'm going in with my eyebrows and so first I start brushing them upwards and the brush I'm using is by Anastasia Beverly Hills number 7B. I really like it. One is an angle brush, very 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 thin so perfect if you want to do winged eyeliner and then the other side is a brush and I really like the brush. Then for eyebrow pencil, I'm using two, my absolute favorite. I used to do, I used to use Huda Beauty, but I don't know if they changed the product or what happened lately. It just doesn't draw. Like there's nothing there. Like I'm drawing a piece of plastic on my eyebrow. So I called them and I actually complained. I was like, what's going on? Because they're kind of like, they're $17 each. So I bought two because I used to use them all the time. And they were kind enough to just refund me my money and I returned them because I'm like, this product is horrible, what happened? Did they change the formula? Did they change the, like something happened because I used to love this product. So anyways, I'm not purchasing Huda Beauty anymore. So thank goodness because Benefit came up. So I used to use this one for the, this is like a thicker one. Oh, I just got a new one. <laughs> Literally just got a new one. Thank goodness because I didn't know I'm running out. So I just repurchased both of them again. And so this one I used to use for my, um, to fill in this part of my eyebrows. And I used the Huda Beauty one to kind of do the outer sides, but 
because it was very very thin but thank goodness that benefit came up with their smallest tiniest 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 as you can see right here there we go look how tiny it is compared well you can't really see this one because i ran out but super super tiny so what i do is i use it i think it's like 0.8 or something like that so I use that to draw in this part also for this one I can't talk much while I'm doing it like look at those natural hair strokes it gives the most natural hair strokes ever so I use that only for this part of my eyebrow and for the filler, I just follow my natural eyebrow shape. It's kind of hard holding. I keep getting work texts. <laughs> so I just kind of follow it. I may need to open up my new one now. All right, goodness, goodness, goodness. Then what I do is I take the brush and I kind of blend in the ends of my eyebrow. Eyebrows take, I think, the most time for me because they look different every single time I do it. What is the saying? They say they should look like si sisters, not twins, or the other way around, they should look like... I mean, I would love for them to look like twins, but they never do because my face is not symmetrical and my eyebrows are not identical so they don't look like twins they just as long as they look like sisters all right so then i go in with a brush and i blend in the this blending in has changed the game for me because i used to never blend in the end and it would just look like a harsh line and i'm like what is what am i missing what am i doing wrong and then i started blending the ends and it just ma made such a huge difference all right, so eyebrows just basically a little bit filling in, nothing crazy. I did get my eyebrows microbladed a couple of times, but they wouldn't last me more than a couple of months and they would go like copper color on me, like red. And I realized that it's because, oh, this is all done. So I'm going to open the new one just so that I can show you the difference in the pencil. Let me put this one out. So I don't get it confused. Oh, feeling of a new pencil. All right, I'll show you the difference. Look at the difference. I love both because I can't really fill with this one. I need a thicker one to fill. Then I go in with my lip liner, uh, lipstick. First, I'm going in with a lip liner and I've been using the Tarlet, uh, not Tarlet, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. And I have a new one. I always stock up on the things I like. So I kind of also, I don't overline my lips. I used to. My makeup has changed so much. I went from putting so much makeup on. I know for a lot of people, this might be a lot, but you haven't seen what I used to do. I used to put so much makeup on. But in my opinion, I mean, my husband doesn't like it. He's like, you don't need any makeup, don't put foundation. He, he doesn't like foundation on me. He doesn't mind it when I do my eyes and lips. And he says, can you put a little bit of rouge on? I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> in his head, putting rouge on is like a little bit of blush, a little bit of lipstick. That's what he calls rouge. That's what he calls rouge. He's like, can you just put a little bit of rouge on? Like, what does that mean? Rouge just means lipstick. <laughs> All right, so then I go in with, uh, so he doesn't like foundation. In my opinion, well, this makes me feel the best. And when I put my hair down, when I do my hair, and when I get dressed, it doesn't look like this. Like right now, this is the focus because my hair is up and I'm wearing a robe. But after I do everything, it kind of all goes together. So in my opinion, I like it. <laughs> I know it might be uh, too much makeup for some people, but it's my everyday makeup. Then for lipstick, exact match of the lip liner I just used, also Charlotte Tilbury, also end of it. I do have a brand new one waiting. For this one, I go all over my lips. Today, we're going in with my, what is it called? Dear Dahlia. I love this color. It's like a coral, it's called Adele 804. 
and let me show you the color it's so stunning it's like a coral pink and I go in the front of my lips a little bit. gives it a little bit of color because sometimes I feel like I look too pale then today I'm putting a little bit of lip butter balm by summer Fridays and the color I'm using today is vanilla beige does it have a number or just this vanilla beige yeah just vanilla beige and I will tell you I'm purchasing every single color of this product because I didn't know why it went viral and why people have been obsessing over this product but now I know it's such a beautiful butter lip balm lip butter balm I look so weird look at that glow it gives your lips absolutely stunning so stunning and so comfortable gives such a beautiful glow to your lips I truly love this product so yeah I'm definitely purchasing every single color then the last step is mascara if you watch my previous video i used to use the Ilia beauty which i truly loved i still love the Ilia beauty mascara i found a product that beats the game so i went in with the curler i am using the shumera curling lash curler then i'm going in with a primer so for base primer i'm using lancome curl booster xl and from mascara I did a video if you haven't seen it I never understand when people compare mascara to no mascara because of course mascara looks better any mascara looks better than no mascara so you have to compare it with your previous ones you have to compare it with another mascara you have to compare it with mascara mascara to mascara <laughs> all right so I did that I compared this with my Ilia I still love my Ilia but I had to compare it so that you guys can see the difference but my new beauty my new obsession is by sweet beauty It's a German company and the bristles I've never had a mascara I don't think in a very very long time that has this kind of bristles does it zoom in for you there we go oh that zoom is great that's awesome so it gives volume it gives separation it gives lift it gives all of the above and again i'm not gonna be like oh look at the difference because there is no mascara on this eye but you can just see how amazingly it makes my eyelashes i gotta put this mirror down because it's really hard to do it balancing that heavy mirror in my hand so I know this took about half an hour or so to do, but this normally, again, takes me 11 to 12 minutes, max 12 minutes. And I like to go in like three, four layers on my um, eyelashes. Putting makeup on is just such a calming. Some days, it's like 4 p.m. Some days I do a rest day. I don't put makeup every single day. But I do majority of the time, so at least five days a week I do have makeup on, but one or two days here and there I give myself a break. Those are the days that I'm only working on the computer and nothing else. And so when I give myself breaks, some days that I don't have makeup on, around like 4 or 5 p.m. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go up to this and put some makeup on because honestly it's like girl therapy for me. It truly is girl therapy for me. It instantly lifts my mood, it instantly makes me feel better. And that's why I love putting makeup on because I, it makes me feel so good. I don't do it for anyone else. I don't do it for anyone else. I just do it for me. All right, so we're done with mascara. Now onto the hair. And as you can see the mascara, I love, 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 love it. All right, for hair, I can't talk to you while I'm doing it, but I'll leave the camera on so you can see what I'm doing because this thing is loud. So I can't talk to you over the loudness of this. All right, so that's it for my hair. Then what I do is I normally wait a little bit, but I just need to show you what I do. So I go in with a wide tooth comb brush and I brush out the curls. Sometimes they go back right in place, <laughs> but then this side. And I open this one up. Then I go in with a little bit of hair oil. I warm it up in between my fingers really, really, really well. I'm so far away from you. Then I go and put it on the ends of my hair. 
just need a little bit of oil and then whatever left on my hand I go in and put it all over The light keeps going in and out because it doesn't recognize my face and it goes dark when there's like no face in the picture. <laughs> then what I do is I go in and I distribute the oil. I go in with, where's my brush? This brush right here and I distribute all of the oil and I give it a really, really nice brush. The part I don't brush is this front part of my hair. I just brush it with my fingers but the rest I brush and then I do the finishing touches with my hair with my not my hands and I give it a kind of a little bit of volume and that's it well and that's it so these curls open up a little bit as I go they're gonna open up and look a little bit more natural right now it's like whoo Looks like I just got a salon, but do you see this is day seven hair? Six, sorry, today's six. Yes, tomorrow's seven. It's insane because it looks like it doesn't need to be washed. I may not wash it tomorrow. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any video requests and if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It will mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.